Hey there, Floss Tube. This is Kathy, the hands on designer, coming at you on a Friday, well, about mid afternoon. Um, I have a special guest with me today. I'm S Sister Cindy from Pittsburgh. She's been visiting all week, and uh, if you've followed me on some of my previous videos, you've seen her before. Um, inside joke, we are not wearing the same <laughs> shirt this time. We have not purchased the same shirt. We have, do you even own that shirt anymore? I do actually have it in the suitcase with me. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay. And I still own it too. So about, what, two years ago, we went shopping when she was visiting and we bought the same shirt and wore it for the video because we have no shame. Um, anyway, so... And we uh, so rarely get to do that. Yeah, really. <laughs> so it was fun. Um, we've been having a, a good week. Cindy's been here... Um, since Saturday, we've got a couple days left, and she's been actually, okay, I put her to work. Um, yeah, you know, the slave driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Um, but no, she's been helping stuff charts, and she's been helping put little wool bits in, and all kinds of fun stuff, because we have a big release that went out this week, and I want to show you everything in that release. Um, but before we get started, because we've got, you know, new releases, and then we've, we've we did a little shopping while she's been here, so we'll show you that. And um, she she has her whip to show you. And um, but we do want to give a shout out first to our folks for their upcoming. Uh, okay, we had to do the math yesterday. Sixty <laughs> first. Sixty uh, first, uh, August twenty third, nineteen fifty eight. So tomorrow so, is sixty one so, years. Yeah. So happy anniversary and. To Steve and Iris Wutzke, our folks. Hope you have a good day. They actually just recently got back from a big trip, so they're probably still a little jet lagged out, so they might sleep through their anniversary. I don't know. All the way from Norway. Yes. And a hi to our oldest sister, um, Karen, who's in Virginia and um, back at work with the, her students, and wish all of them um, a great school year coming up. So, um, anyway. Should we get going? All right. Okay, so you want to hold. Okay, so I, you most of you have seen this one. It's the second. You want to hold that one and show it. All right. Yeah, get a little closer. Um, oh, cover our faces. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now back. <laughs> okay, so Can this. You see the pumpkins? <laughs> Um, so this is uh, the second in the chalk full series. Okay, you can kind of pull it back just a little bit. Right, relax your arms. This is gonna be a, uh, you know, you're gonna get a good work arm workout with this. Uh, but this is the second in the chalk full series. Um, it's based on the artwork of Priscilla Blaine. She draws the the, the pictures, and then I make them into cross stitch. So um, it's been a fun series to do so far. I've the first one was Harvest that came out in. May, and I had to think about that a second, and um, and I've seen so many of you stitching it, and I have to tell a funny little story, because most of these pumpkins are different, and when I work on my screen, as I'm kind of creating the, the cross stitch part of it, um, I kind of have a lot of like little, you know, little motifs and stuff like that on my computer screen, and then I'll start putting them all back together and kind of getting them in the right positions and whatnot, and I probably had about 30 of these little pumpkin faces on my screen and sometimes I leave my screen up just to kind of as I walk by like I might catch something like oh oh that doesn't look right so I'll go and tweak that or tweak this or whatever it was kind of unnerving <laughs> all of these little pumpkin faces staring back at me every time I walk by the pumpkins didn't know they had to audition yeah <laughs> really well that's kind of what it was so um I did my tr my typical finish I've talked about I've did a uh, done some tutorials in previous video videos about that so that's the 8x10 white frame same frame I've used for the other the harvest and I'll be using for all of them covered the back a uh, piece of foam core you want to turn it around and show the back and then I did a pretty print on the back. There's the finishing. And then, go ahead and turn it around. And then my model is stitched on um, 32 count slate fabrics by Stephanie. Um, the little boo three quarter inch hand dyed rick rack is from Lady Dot. Um, and I, I pretty much am gonna be doing that on each one of them. And then of course the Jabco ladies did this lovely new little pin mini. Um, it's got the jar in it and then a little scary ghost and a little bat and I just love the colors like to me They kind of scream like vintage well chalk, but vintage Halloween. So 
Um, I'll go ahead and put that one down and then you get to do, she's going to be my van, Cindy's going to be my Vanna. <laughs> so, you know, with, um, each one of these, and so we got that table in the background, um, with each one of the, um, the, the jars, we're going to do a small and this one is boo. And um, I, of course, finished mine as a little pillow like I did the um, harvest last time. A little bit of the, the plaid. It's kind of funny. I, I guess I didn't think about it when I put this shirt on today. I sort of coordinate with my pillows. <laughs> but um, anyway, so again, did the little um, pleated uh, twill tape again from Lady Dot. Slate Fabrics by Stephanie and then just embellished it with the, the little pin minis from Just Another Button Company. I did post earlier this week because I've had a lot of people ask, are you, you know, how do you do the, the pleating of the twill tape? So yes, I will be doing a tutorial on that. So thank you for all your terrific responses. Um, I will do that next week. <laughs> next week, we'll talk about that. So, um, so anyway, and that's the back of it. And it really does match. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where to go? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're goofy, but um, okay, all right. So that is chalk full series. Boo um, is the first one that is coming out, and I I've got I'm I'm in the mood for fall. I know it's mid August. Are you ready for fall? I don't know. Not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> I don't know. I just I see that first. So I saw a meme on um, Facebook or Instagram, I can't remember, you know, my, uh, the temperature dropped seven degrees, <laughs> pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready. Sorry, it's been a good summer, but I'm ready. So the next release is called, you want gonna, one yeah, one? you want that one, that one. Autumn Skies. I'm gonna go look closer with that one. Okay, some of you might recognize this. This was a limited release chart that, um, little chart kit that I did last year when I went to teach up in um, Wisconsin. And we sold out of the kit. Um, so those of you who got it first, the first time round, um, again, it was very limited. Uh, you were lucky you got the full kit. I am not fully kidding them this time round. So it's DMC on, I think it's platinum 32 count. Um, the, let's see, I am including the wool felt strips to make the little pillow this way. The first time around the complete kit had everything in it. So, um, so that's, that's the big difference. So anyway, just a fun little autumn skies and pumpkin pies. Um, the buttons are uh, just another button company. Those are hand dyed. They're called ocean. I just love this color palette for fall and, um, just a little different, a little non-traditional, but being still a little traditional and uh, just a fun finish. Um, so you can find some fun ribbon. Uh, the buttons can be ordered by your shop and they're gonna be four buttons in the pack because, do you wanna show the next one? And you can always get even closer looks on my social pages, Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing, because I included this and um, the, it's called, it says, what does it say? This way to the pumpkin patch. Again, this was also a very limited release design with a shop. I mean, really limited, less, more limited than the other piece. And, uh, but there's kind of a backstory to this one. Okay, I'll hold this one up. Okay, the, uh, um, what happened was, okay, I knew I wanted to release this and I knew I wanted to release that. And that was not originally designed in this colorway, but so for the for the chart, I actually recolored this. So it's DMC. You'll have enough in your skein to stitch both of these, and then because um, I wanted them to kind of be cohesive, but I sent this guy off to Rita um, from Snowberry Needle Arts. You've heard me mention her before. She's done a bunch of finishes for me. She's in Colorado, and she stitched. She um, she did the finishing on the Safe Harbor release. Um, let's see, two, two months ago. And I said, do whatever you want, but kind of coordinate it with this a little bit. So she used the similar color wool and she used the buttons. That's why when you get the butt, when your shop gets the button packs for you from Jabco, just another button company, you'll get four of the buttons. And Sorry. so she made this, no, that's awesome. And um, she made this great pumpkin shape. Now, if you want Rita to finish it for you like that, you can contact Rita and she'll do the finishing. Um, I basically, I said, do what you want with it. Um, so, all right, you want to, you can give your arms a little bit of a rest. I'll hold this one up. 
so the original colorway for the this way to the pumpkin patch I did in darker tones and like I said I knew that um, I was going to be lightening the colors to make it more convenient for you to use up all your floss make it a little more economical but this was the original colorway it's all hand dyed Sorry, I don't mean to cover your face up. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, but I did, if you like this, okay, if you like that, um, I did include the darker colorways, all the hand dyes. I believe it's Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Art. Um, I did include that within the chart if you want to go. Um, this is not pictured on the chart. When these finally do get posted on my website, I will include a picture of this just so you can be reminded. But... I want to talk a minute about the elephant in the room. Okay, the finishing. Um, when I sent to Rita, um, I said with this one, make it look like, you know, make it coordinate with this. So you can kind of see she did include a couple little of the wool felt strips that are pinked on the edges. And I said, but this one, this is mine. I mean, this one will go out on trunk shows. This is mine. This is going in my house. And do what you want. And look. You can go ahead and put that one down and give your arms a rest. But look at this. Look at the little the leaves all around. Like the a, wreath, a wreath of leaves. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. And then it's a an easel, so I can, you know me, I like my my leaners. You know, I have lots of shelves that I kind of just tuck things in for decoration. And I am just just take a peek. And again, um, and no. it's got beading on it. Yeah, beading. And, I love beading. Yep. And the, gives it a little bit of shine. Yeah. And and she... Um, They're stitching on the leaves for uh, detail. Yes. Just, just beautiful. I'll take another close-up like that. So if you want this kind of finishing, again, no tutorial from me, because this was Rita from Snowberry Needle Arts who did this, the incomparable Rita. Um, so I just, can you tell how much I love this one? <laughs> but anyway, so this is, the chart itself is called Autumn Skies, and it includes the pattern for this and the pattern for that. So you kind of get a little bonus. And the wool felt strips are included for that, for that. Um, the other thing too, somebody said, can you, what if you didn't want to do the wool felt strips? Can you just scooch everything together? Sure enough, you can. Absolutely. Just get a little, um, but if you finish it this way, I just put a little button there and a little ribbon underneath and you just have a sweet little small to tuck in a, tuck in a bowl or something like that. I told there you. There are as many ideas as stitchers. Yes. Out there. Exactly. That is a very, she gets it folks. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that was autumn sky. So we've had boo chock full autumn skies. And then do you want to, you want to do that one? Okay. Then this is called a Harmony in Autumn. I started a little series at Nashville um, called House on a Hill. You wanna show the side, kind of with the words and stuff. Um, if this is the mattress style pincushion and um, the wool felt comes included. It's got kind of a fun inspirational little saying. This one says a harmony in a har there is a harmony in autumn. That's all I could get at the quote around it, but it's a Percy Bysshe Shelley quote. And I just like kind of finding these fun, inspirational little quotes. And so the, it started with the summer um, that we were had a little Cape Cod style house and it had the little um, whale weather vane and there were daisies. So each season is going to be a different house, a different saying, a different color scheme, but the same finish. Um, so the Weeks Dye Works wool is included. So for fall, fall finds us at the farmhouse and we've got the sun, fun sunflowers and the fall colors. And then you can see just another button company did another one of their little pin minis. Isn't that just cute, cute, cute. So um, finishing for these is very easy. Follow the block party finishing tutorial on my website. There's a PDF, you can print it out or you can just follow along, scroll down the website. So then of course with each one of these, we're gonna do a little scissor fob and it kind of it coordinates with the same colors and same kind of design so very fun um, now a few of you have said you wanna, okay you can relax your arms 
<laughs> it gets hard holding up like that. <laughs> a few of you have um, uh, not wanted to do the wool little embellishment here. And, um, and that's totally fine. Um, I just happen to like adding all those different layers of texture. If Gives you will. it a little dimension. Right, exactly. Um, you can actually either just fill that in with cross stitch or you could, um, because the outer border is smart across, if you want to do the whole thing in smart across, you guys know by now, if you've stitched enough of my patterns, I love a good smart across. Um, so you could actually just do that to give a texture without mm -hmm. adding. But adding the wool felt is very simple, and I give you a pattern in each chart for how to do that. So um, so that's it for new releases. Woohoo! Three of them. So everything we've been, that's why you see all like the table and everything kind of behind us. Um, We've been busy packing charts, cutting wool, um, getting um, them ready to ship. Yep, getting everything ready to ship. So we should be finishing up the packing today, yay. <laughs> um, and then they all go to the post office tomorrow. So they should all be hitting your shops um, first part of next week, I would imagine. And um, so that's it for new releases, all right? So um, do you wanna show your, your work in progress, your whip? Um, okay, well. Those of you who have been following us know that last year at this time I was trying to finish up a Prayer of St. Francis um, sampler for a friend and it, not to fear, it did get finished, it's framed and, and delivered and... Um, and she loves it. She's quite happy with it and so so was I. And I told you no more finishing for friends. <laughs> Probably nothing with that many words for a long time. <laughs> It was, it was beautiful. Um, she was actually working on it on your last <clears throat> couple visits here. But I was, I ended up being very happy with the colors. It was, uh, and very nicely matted and framed. So now I'm going back to my stash and returning to some old favorites. And I'm doing uh, Winter Silhouette by Diane Arthurs. I hope to do the uh, Nativity Silhouettes as well. I believe it's the same artist. So, um, this is where we are right now. So I figured instead of a whole bunch of color changes, I would do monochromatic for a while. <laughs> yeah. so, it's you made some good progress while you were here. So, so but um, aside from losing my place a lot, but I think I have solved that problem. So, um, and then, um, let's see, Monday, Monday, yeah, Monday, did we, Monday we went to, um, uh, Beresford, Beresford, oh. South Dakota. We went to Shanty Stitchers. Uh, Ginny is the lovely owner there. She is not normally open on Mondays. Um, but, uh, Ginny recently retired from one of her jobs. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now she only has the shop, a bed and breakfast and a long arm quilting business. So she's retired um but uh i she opened up especially for us because you know for a my, couple of hours and yeah and uh, we visited and we chatted she's a lovely little shop she's got quilting cross stitch punch needle um you wool, name it wool embroidery um she has framing she does long arm quilting um she has a great like classroom type area that they fixed up in the in the basement um so it's a cute little town. So anyway, so so I did not come away empty-handed. Um, last year I got a some Lizzie Kate pieces to uh, finish a Christmas banner, and this time I'm was tickled with this Halloween one, and I have all the pieces here to. Here, do you want me to hold up that one? It makes the make uh, the entire um, the tingles. To make all I make of the those. entire band and these adorable buttons too by my friends at just another button company so so hopefully I will be able to finish the winter silhouette and get to this and um, of course when you are related to a designer <laughs> I've got here I, I just couldn't resist the meow I don't have a cat, but I would like to maybe have a cat someday, so I have to complete that. And also, I kept coming back to, uh, I'm drawn to all things Amish, so I just kept thinking about this one. And I'm going to do this one when I clear the decks. 
And actually, you know, we talked about that one because I, sh you know, I showed the book Henner's Lydia um, in the on the cover, and I talked about that kind of being the inspiration for this particular book. Um, that book actually, like, that was always around the, our house yeah. for a long time. So and we were very small when we went to Lancaster, and, and so it was kind of neat that she picked up on that one. And my inspiration for that was something from our childhood, um, and uh, uh, yeah, kind of cool. So, and then I'm going to, I just couldn't resist this, the farmhouse, farmhouse Christmas with all the little red barns and the little folks. So I just thought that was gorgeous. So I have all the pieces here to complete that one day. Um, I currently have so much I can never die, but I know you're all familiar with that sensation. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I taught her what sable meant. She did not know what that meant. Stash so. expect or stash accumulation beyond life expectancy. expectancy. Perfectly normal situation. So and then I even got some more buttons for magnetic buttons for my necklace with uh, some of the same barns and so forth on them. So you got the one that goes with the farmhouse, and then you got a couple from our chalk series, the so chalk on the farm series. The red, so. the little red truck and the blue barn. Yep. So. But I guess who forgot my pendant? So no. <laughs> oh, wow. So anyway, I've got enough to keep me out of out of trouble for a while. Well, believe it or not, I did not get any stitching stash. But um, if you want to hand me that um, the fabric under there, as I mentioned, Ginny's shop um, she does have quilting. She's you know it's not a huge quilt shop, but I just I love what she carries. It's you know you sometimes you find a shop that sort of like goes with your I don't know, your vibe or your style or whatever. So um, I'm actually doing some quilts. I used to quilt a lot more. I just don't have time to now, but I where I outside like the, in the outer area in our lower level outside the studio, I keep my machine up all the time because sometimes for finishing, you know, the little pillows and whatnot, I need my machine handy. Um, but I also, I'm the type of quilter that I don't really follow a pattern. Um, I love these pre-cut, um, you know, the layer cakes. This is an older one. It's um, Metro by Bonnie and Camille. I actually have a, this is the layer cake. Um, I actually have a charm pack that's solid, that's that like tealy blue. So I have an idea um, I'm gonna do with this. I'm making some quilts that are, um, uh, last year I was asked to donate um, some quilts for um, a, a, an organization that my son used to participate in. and. Um, I'm, and I'm like, mm, I can't, it was short notice last year, but I said, I will, I'm going <coughs> to, <Is it tight? laughs> thank you. I knew, I could feel that sneeze coming on and I'm like, Oh, please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Anyway, excuse me. Um, but anyway, so the, I just kind of, I'm like, sort of like a, I'm a, I, I don't want to say slap it, slap dash or slap and dash, but cause that sounds bad, but <laughs> I'm more like a, I don't know. I like these shapes, um, so I like put two together, I sew here, I cut them in half, open them up, get a ton of half square triangles, and then I just kind of, I play with the colors, and I don't Try know. it all goes together. Yeah, and then, and then uh, you know, and then hopefully they end up looking kind of purdy. So this is an older one, um, and I just, I love these because, you know, it just comes with all the colors. So. Um, that does have kind of a vintage yeah. look to it. And then this is, I don't know if this is new for this year. This is by One Canoe 2. I'm not familiar. It was, um, like I love, um, well, I like Bonnie and Camille. I love Basic Gray. That's like my, I just love Basic Gray. And, um, but this is One Canoe 2, and this is their Be Jolly. And I think, you know, again, I like that. Um, you know, I, I like the colors. And I bought a little... I bought, I, I, I make, they're called Skinny Mini Table Runners. Super easy. I'll show you when it's done, um, but this is going to be the other part of the half square triangle and the backing. And then I got this cute red um, for the binding, but look at the edge of the fabric. Like I love that scallop on the edge. So I got to do something to kind of incorporate that scallop. I don't know how yet, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then um, again, every once in a while I, I find some, I call them sort of inspirational fabrics. So I just grab a fat quarter. Of course, I'm always drawn to something that's got X's on it. And those two go together. And aren't they just beautiful? I just love those colors. Um, I can't tell who the 
Sorry, the, the background, of course, is kind of slate. Yeah. Yeah. And the background, I thought you were going to say the background noise. My dog's snoring. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear her or not. So, yeah, it's not our, our tummies are not rumbling for lunch. That is the dog. Uh, oh, funny thing. This is also by One Canoe, too. So, I'm kind of thinking I have found a new favorite besides Basic Gray. So, I just, they kind of just works for me. So, you just, you know, you find you just get drawn to certain things. Yep. So, um, anyway, so unfortunately our week is kind of coming to an it's end. It's Thursday already. Huh? It always goes faster than we think. Um, yep. We haven't gotten out as much, but I think tomorrow we're, everything should get um, shipped out tomorrow to the shop. So we're going to take, uh, do the post office run in the morning and then I actually have an appointment um, about an hour away uh, for some something, a project for the house. And um, so we're gonna go check that out. And um, there just, you know, happens to be a, a cute little, you know, shop down the block. So we might end up there. We might get sucked in. Yeah. And um, there is a bar around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to join us. No. <laughs> We'll be in Wayne, Nebraska. <laughs> um, but anyway, so really cool place. I'll give them a shout out. We may not end up there. But there is actually another quilt shop. We're, we're going to kind of go figure which way the wind blows tomorrow. So we're either yeah. going to go to the 1912 Emporium, which is an awesome gift shop in um, Wayne, or the Country Traditions uh, quilt shop. It's a little further south. So we haven't been there. I haven't been there in a while. But and you... I don't think you've ever been there, but nope. I haven't yet attempted to quilt, but I still have to look at fabrics. So yeah, well, we all we all sewed. I mean, we all yep. we all three um, used to we make all our, have own, our sewing machines. Of, we all learned to make our own clothes. Yep, you know, and um, I don't know. I don't make my own clothes anymore. Do you? Uh, no, because it's not necessarily cheaper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so and time, time. So. Um, and I think that's too why I like my I like my my quick and dirty quilts. We'll call that quick and dirty sounds better than slapdash. <laughs> I don't know, quick and dirty doesn't sound that good either. <laughs> so, but um, I want to thank you for all your help this week, stuff and charts. Oh, you're quite welcome. It's not often I get to tell my sister to stop it. <laughs> hey, so. now. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, we'll get this posted. We'll put some appropriate comments below as far as you know, chart titles and, and all that kind of good stuff. So in case you're interested in anything, um, call up your local and online shop and um, they should be getting the new charts. And uh, like I said, next week and oy, 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 we've got Galleria coming up in about three weeks. And um, I have uh, another set of releases in September. Um, of course, the next farmhouse chalk. Um, oh, um, I have a Christmas piece that uh, will be coming out then. And that uses a sulky thread pack. Actually, I have two pieces that use the same sulky thread pack. And um, and then I think, you know, kind of just one or two more for the year after that. And we're going to wind it down. <laughs> It's been a busy year, people. Thank you so much. Um, and As if that isn't enough. More, more, more. Um, but, but it's all good. So, and then uh, basically we've been, the, the drawing boards are full of the Nashville releases and the new series for next year. So it's always fun. Um, anyway, so, well. Right. I'll we'll, take my haul back to Pittsburgh soon here and hopefully keep up the stitching. That would, be good. that would be good. So, in the meantime, enjoy the stitch. Happy stitching. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.